Good morning, everybody. So, well, good morning, good afternoon. It's 2 p.m. Uh, having breakfast, coffee, took the dog out for a walk. And now I am going to do a plyometric kind of leg power circuit series kind of thing. Uh, got it off EdgeU Instagram, which is ticked right here. It's some really good stuff. So I'm going to do that because it's real, real important that us athletes, local players, whatever, that you keep the power work going. It's good doing all the resistance stuff at home, but if you neglect, for example, we've been training strength and power for God knows however many months, and then for all of a sudden for it to stop for two to three, maybe even longer, not good. So we have to continue that. For example, sprints is an explosive kind of output. We have to keep that going. Um, so plyometrics is on the cards for today uh, with some sprints. Um, there's a grass area just behind the set of houses in front of me, which I might go to do some loaded sprints. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna go and check it out and then I'll come back. Uh, but we're gonna do the um, plyometric stuff first. And a pretty ingenious thing I found. The dog used to sleep on, that used to be in the garage um, before I moved here. So I've got a band that's gonna go underneath there and through that hole. And basically I'm gonna hold it either side. I'm gonna go and jump up and down on my toes. One of the exercises he has in there. Um, I needed a little resistance, so added that in. Um, you'll see when it's all there. The reason why the rocks are on it is because when I jump, the whole thing lifts up. So I need something to just hold it down. Um, but you're gonna see four exercises, three times. Um, yeah, just to get the, get the power bar going again. So. That's what's on the, on the cards right now. So I'm gonna set that up and then I'll let you watch. So you can see the exercise that I've done there. Um, today's goal is to research, for me, uh, research more into the programming of plyometrics um, over like a, like a period amount of time because I don't, I'm not 100% sure on the progressions. I know some great exercises, but like there's some of you that are beginners I need to, I know some beginners exercises, but then working on and forward, I just want to understand more of the progression. Um, but yeah, plyometrics should be done by everyone. Uh, just because the gym's shut, there's no reason why you should be stopping. Uh, we have to keep that power side of training going. Home, the stuff to do at home, resistance bands, all that's great to keep the body going, but we have got to keep the power stuff going. So I'm going to do my fourth set now, and then I'm going to just go on the street and do sprints. Because um, over there, I've just seen it, no grass is cut, and it's all like this. Uh, I know another place further over, but... By the time I pack the car and get the doll, wherever he is, just I'm going to save it for next week. So this week I'm just going to do, I'll explain what I'm doing after, and the week after I might go to loaded, or I'll do two weeks of this, then two weeks of loaded, just to get that progression. You don't need to go 100% in to everything all the time. For example, prime actions, you don't need to do the most, uh, what's the word, the most um, complex, complicated, complex movements. You've got to start off with the basics. I've done, I've done plyometrics for a, f for a fair while. Uh, I've never done anything too complex. I usually do just one movement, but you can then move on to, for example, mini jumps, going into high jumps, lower jumps, side jumps, you know, there's, but it's a progression. So I'm gonna write, I'm, once I've done my research, I'm gonna put a program up uh, for you guys, home workouts, fitness, plyometrics, all this stuff to keep going. <laughs> Research before I give you the program because I want to make sure it's 
not any old any old rubbish. So yeah, full set, out for sprints. Okay, so in the street, where's my house is? We've got 10 meters here, 20 meters there, 30 meters down there. So I'm gonna do four times 10 meters, uh, three times 20 meters, two times 30 meters. Uh, and yeah, I'll take between the 10 meters, I'll take a 45 second break. Between the 20 meters, I'll take a one minute break. And between the 30 meters, I'll take a two minute break. See how I feel, I might extend that because I want the spreads to be 100%. So yeah, let's get it. The sprint's done, hydrate, don't forget. Um, so yeah, what I didn't mention as well, the 10 meters I just did straight normal. The 20 meters I did one normal, and then I did the one crossover to the right, and then crossover to the left. You'll see in the video as my leg comes over. Um, and the 30 meters I did a falling start. Uh, just to change up, you know. Um, and there we go, because in rugby it's not often that you're gonna be finding yourself in a three-point position start, realistically. Maybe if you're in the, in the 22 on your line, or, I don't know, you wanna shoot up real quick. But, you know, it's good to change the different positions of which you accelerate on. So that way we're prepped for any game to adapt, you know. There you go. Anyway, so just a little power session, oh, not really a power session, a little plyometric sprint session, to be what, 30 minutes, I think. Um, again, in France, we're also on lockdown, so just gives you stuff to do in the, during the day. For those in England, maybe you might be soon on lockdown, who knows? Um, although, so you don't have a job at the moment, uh, or anywhere in the world, wherever you are, should be doing this stuff anyway. Um, so, yeah. Time to go to some lunch. It's now three o'clock, which is not really good. I had breakfast at 11, I think. I decided to uh, leave my alarm off, so I woke up at 10. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 hours I haven't really eaten. It's weird. During the, after breakfast, I can go hours without eating. I can go from, if I'm doing nothing, I can go from now until like 5 p.m. But uh, I force myself to eat. So yeah, that's that. Catch you later. I got to show you what I was eating. Shock, rice, with some, uh, what's it called, the sauce? Creamy stuff with bacon. <laughs> Life of me, I can't remember. It's right in front of me. <laughs> Carbonara sauce, pretty tasty. Um, and then some breaded kind of fish thing again. Burn it a bit. Anyway, this behind me, this tarp I've used, usually covers my car. I've attached it up here and up here. You can guess what I use it for. Just found this invention, which is perfect. I can keep the kicking going. Ah, so many holes. I keep picking my beard, it's bad. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, place kicking. I've got my tee here, I'll show you. Passing into it, left foot, right foot kicking. I am sorted. Quarantine is no issue for me. I'm good for four to six weeks. Perfect. So, yeah, happy days.
is the final delivery just arrived. Here we are. So we have two 10 kgs, two 2.5 kgs, two 5 kgs. My thinking behind this was, so with the bumper plates, the big uh, rubber plates, because um, they are much bigger than what these would be, I bought these steel ones much cheaper instead of buying bumper plates because they won't be able to touch the floor. The bumper plates are taller in length, so if I drop it, it won't matter. So that's my thinking behind it, and I saved myself a lot of money. So, let's have a look. Okay, so weight out. This is what, it, it's what, we had, what I had in my mind. There you go, so it's plastic, it's not steel. But the thing is, in my mind, we, I dropped them, and this bit broke, but because the bumper plate, like I explained, I'll show you what I mean. So for example, I put the 15 on the bar. Here's the 10, goes here. You see, so if I drop it, it's gonna hit here. This isn't gonna break, so. And I saved, oh, probably close to 100 euros. So yeah. <laughs> yep. Let's slow it down. <laughs>